children now it's the exercise time it's our exercise time so in your workbook there are some exercise for the lesson lesson 16 birds beaks and closes so let's do the exercise in the workbook okay children so the first exercise in the workbook is take the correct answer you have to take the correct answer huh? for the three questions three questions are given and you have three options also option a option b option c three options are given for each question check the options and see which one is correct the correct option you have to tick in the square box given okay yes so first one crows robins and sparrows have this type of claw so what type of claw have these birds these birds have crows robins and sparrow they have what type of claw is it grasping or perching or scratching a is grasping b is perching c is scratching so what type of claws they have these are the birds that they perch on branches we say sit stand and rest the, they have their feet their claws helps them to curl around the branches which helps them to sleep on branch so perching isn't it so crows robins and sparrows have perching claws so tick here option b is the right answer now second question can you read the second question children yes eagles and owls have talons for option a swimming option b scratching option c grasping talons some birds have talons the feet they have large uh, uh, claws large strong they have claws to catch kill or carry the prey mm, they catch the animal which they want to eat they carry it using that kind of claws a large claws they have uh, the large strong claws called talons mm, that eagles and owls they have this kind of claws or talons they are called grasping yes grasping option c is the correct answer put a tick there okay now third question read the third one woodpeckers have these beaks woodpeckers making hole in the tree trunk to uh, build the nest or they use these kind of claws to catch the insects in the tree trunk a long pointed beak and beaks they have isn't it yes which what kind of shape it is is it chisel shaped hooked strainer woodpecker have chisel shaped beaks to catch the small insects in the on the tree trunk isn't it so option a is the correct answer so give a tick here okay so crows robins and sparrows have this type of claw perching option b second eagles and owls have talons for grasping option c third woodpeckers have these beaks option a chisel shaped beaks okay children our next exercise in the workbook is exercise 2 fill in the blanks fill in the blanks so first question can you read out the first question which is the first fill up first is cranes and stalks have dash type of clothes we learned about different types of clothes for different birds among them cranes and stalks they have what kind of clothes children they have a special type of clothes which helps them to walk easily the clothes are spread out to help them to which help them to walk easily in the shallow water without singing yes they have wading type of clothes wading w a d i n g wading they have wading types of clothes which helps them to walk easily in the shallow water without sinking isn't it yes 
Then second, which is the second question here. Second fill in the blanks. All birds have two feet. All birds have two feet. Isn't it? Yes. Then third one. Dash and dash have tweezer shaped beak. Tweezer shaped beak is for which, uh, which birds children? Tweezer shaped beak. There are two birds that has that have tweezer shaped beak, which a flat beak, pointed long beak, which helps them to pull out the insects from, from the holes in the ground. Yes, hoopoes, H O O P O E S, hoopoes and warblers. W A R W A R B L E R S, warblers. Hoopoes. Hoopoes and warblers have tweezer shaped beak, long pointed beak, which helps them to pull out the insects uh, in the holes in the ground. Okay? Now, the fourth fill up. Dash bird can run fast. A bird that has only two toes instead of four and strong legs, which makes them to run very fast. Fast running bird. Yes, ostrich. O S T R I C H. Ostrich is the fast running bird. Then ducks have dash type of beak. Yes, children, what kind of beak does a duck have? Ducks have dash type of beak. Yes, they have some in the beak at the edge. We can see some holes which allows water and mud to go through. Yes, a strainer type of beak. A strainer, S-T-R-A-I-N-E-R. Ducks and swans, they have strainer type of beak. Isn't it? Yes. So first one, cranes and stalks have wading types of type of clothes which helps them to move easily or sp walk easily in the water without sinking second all birds have two feet third dash and dash have tweezer shaped beak which birds have tweezer shaped beak a long pointed beak we say to pull out insects in the ground huh? in the holes in the from the holes in the ground yes hoopoes and warblers have tweezer shaped beak next Ostrich bird can run fast. Fifth one, the last fill in the blanks. Ducks have strainer type of beak. S-T-R-A-I-N-E-R. Strainer type of beak. Okay, children? Yes, children. So, our next exercise in the workbook is exercise 3. Take the true and cross the false statements. So, here there are five statements given. You have to read the statement and check whether each statement is true or false. If the statement is true, means right. If it is true or correct, just put a tick in the square box given. If the statement is wrong, if it is false, then put a cross mark in the square box given. Okay, children? Yes. So, first statement. Read, which is the first question here or the first statement given is, birds have teeth to eat. Two birds have teeth to eat like us. No, we learned that birds do not have teeth to eat. They have beaks instead to eat the food, to bite the food, to chew the food, isn't it? So birds have teeth to eat is a, not a true statement. It is false. So put a cross mark in the square box. Cross. And then Second, owls have a spear-shaped beak. Is it right or is it correct or is it false? Owls have a spear-shaped beak. What kinds of beak this owl has? has? Owl has a hooked beak which helps them to catch its prey or which helps them to bite and chew the food. Huh? Owls have hooked beak. Kingfisher herons have spear shaped beak, a leaf shaped, we say, to pick the fishes. 
not owls. So owls have a spear shaped beak is a wrong statement. It is false. So put a cross mark. Then third one. Birds use their beak to clean and smoothen the feathers. Birds use beaks not only to eat, isn't it? To feed the young ones, to gather the raw materials for making nest. Then they use the beak to clean and smoothen the feathers. It is right statement or it is true, isn't it? Yes, so put a tick mark in the square box. Okay, yes. Now coming to the fourth statement or the fourth question. Read, children read the fourth one. Ducks have webbed feet. Yes, ducks and swans, they have webbed feet which helps them to swim in the water. So they have webbed feet. It is true. So put a tick mark. Now the last one, the fifth one. Parrots have two toes in front and two behind. The, how their claws look like the feet. They have two claws in front and two toes behind it which helps them or enable them to climb the tree trunk up, down and sideways. Isn't it? It is true. So the given statement is true. Parrots have two toes in front and two behind. So the statement is true. Put a tick mark. Okay. So birds have teeth to eat. False statement. So put a cross. Owls have a spear shaped beak. It is a false statement so cross. Third one birds use the beak to clean and smoothen the feathers. Yes it is a true statement so put a tick. Ducks have webbed feet. Yes it is correct. A true statement so tick. And the last one parrots have two toes in front and two behind. It is a true statement so again put a tick. Yes, children, our next exercise in the workbook is exercise 4. Name two birds with the following clothes. So the name of the clothes are given. You have to write which type of birds use these clothes. Okay. So first one, climbing. Which birds have climbing type of clothes? Climbing. To climb on the trees upside down and sideways yes woodpecker and parrot so write woodpecker woodpecker then parrot p a r r o t parrot w o o d woodpecker p e c k e r woodpecker parrot they have climbing types of clothes next wading W A D I N G wading. Which types of birds have wading types of clothes? Wading. Wading types of clothes. Yes, crane stalk. We can write crane. C R A N E. Crane. Then stalk. S T O R K. Stalk. These birds have wading types of clothes. Okay, wading types of clothes. Then next, scratching, scratching. So name two birds that have scratching type of clothes. Scratch, which helps them to scratch the food uh, in the ground. Yes, hens, then pheasants we write. Hens and pheasants, they have, they have scratching type of Clothes, we say scratching types of clothes. Okay, that's the swimming. Swimming types of clothes, which helps the birds to swim in the water. Which types of birds have swimming types of clothes? Yes, ducks, D U C K S, ducks and swans. They have swimming types of clothes. Yes, now perching. To perch on branches, to sit and stand and rest and sleep on the branches. Which birds have perching type of crows? Yes, crows. We can write crows. Then robins. These birds, they have perching types of 
क्लोज ना लास्ट वन ग्रास्पिंग ग्रास्पिंग सो विच बर्ड्स हैव ग्रास्पिंग टाइप्स ऑफ क्लोज वी कैन राइट द नेम ऑफ ईगल्स ईगल्स then hawks they have grasping types of claws okay so first one climbing woodpecker parrot example then wading birds wading types of claws which birds have wading types of claws crane stork c r a n e crane s t o r k stork then third one scratching types of claws the two examples of words hens pheasants p h e a s a n t s next swimming swimming types of claws birds like ducks and swans have swimming type of claws d u c k s ducks s w a n s swans perching types of claws crows and robins have perching types of claws C R O W S crows robins R O B I N S the last one grasping types of claws eagles and hawks E A G L E S eagles H A W K S hawks these birds have grasping types of claws okay children so our next exercise in the workbook is exercise 4 sorry exercise 5 answer the following questions next exercise Five answer the following questions. First one: What are the functions of a beak? So can you say the functions of beak or how the beaks help the birds? Birds they do not have teeth, so they use beaks to beaks to bite the food, eat the food, or tear the food into pieces. And beaks have multi-purpose use. We say they use beak to pick the grains, to feed the young ones, to clean and smoothen the feathers, etc., etc. Isn't it? So let's see. Answer. Birds use the beak to pick grains, tear flesh, bite, feed the young ones, comma, to clean and smoothen the feathers, and to make nest. For all these things, they use beaks. So birds use the beak to pick grains, comma, tear flesh, comma, bite, comma, feed the young ones, comma, to clean and smoothen the feathers and to make nests. Second, what is the second question, children? What are the functions of claws? What are the functions of claws? Claws also helps them to, yes. What what are the um, what are the usefulness of the claws? In which way claws help the birds? All the birds have different types of claws. Some claws helps them to uh, walk easily in the water or swim in the water, perch on uh, branches, then move around, isn't it? And some claws helps them to catch the prey, isn't it? Yes. So answer claws help the birds to catch. the food comma perch on branches to hold firmly to rest and stand on the branches and to move around so claws help the birds to catch the food comma perch on branches and to move around now coming to the third question which is the third question here children yes read the third question what kind of beak does a duck have why what kind of beak a duck have ducks and swans they have strainer types of beaks isn't it yes which helps them to strain out the mud and water strain means some holes at the edge huh? which allows the water and mud to go through isn't it yes a duck has a strainer beak comma which is strong and flat beak with strainers all along the edges and allows water and mud to go out through it So duck has a strainer beak which is strong and flat beak with strainers all along the edges and allows water and mud to go out through it. So what are the functions of a beak? Be birds use the beak to pick grains, tear flesh, bite, feed the young one, the young ones to clean and smoothen the feathers and to make nest. 
Second, what are the functions of claws? Claws help the birds to catch the food, perch on branches and to move around. Third, what kind of beak does a duck have? A duck has a strainer beak which is strong and flat beak with strainers all along the edges and allows water and mud to go out through it. Okay? Yes, our next question, question number four. Yes, which is the question number four here children? Yes, come on read. What type of legs does an ostrich have? We know ostrich is a bird that runs very fast. Uh, it has two toes instead of four. All other birds have four toes. But the ostrich has only two toes but it's strong and thick legs for them to run. Answer. Ostrich have very strong legs to run fast with two toes instead of four. Ostrich have very strong legs to run fast with two toes instead of four. Yes, the last question is question number five. What type of toes and claws do wading and scra scratching birds have? You have to write about the toes and claws of uh, scratching and wading birds. Okay, the so scratching birds have claws that are strong with three toes in front and a short hind toe higher up the leg. Hmm? Back leg, we can see a uh, hind toy. Okay, example hands, peasants, they have scratching types of clothes which helps them to uh, dig the food or to scratch the food in the ground. Okay, yes. Next, wading birds. Wading birds' legs are long with toes that are spread out to help them walk easily in shallow water without sinking. Stalks, cranes are example for wading birds. Okay, so what type of legs does an ostrich have? Ostrich have very strong legs to run fast with two toes instead of four. Next fifth question, what type of toes and claws do wading and scratching birds have? Scratching birds have claws that are strong with three toes in the front and a short hind toe higher up the leg. Hind toe higher up the leg. Huh? Then wading birds legs are long with toes that are spread out to help them walk easily in the shallow water without sinking. Okay. Children our next exercise in the workbook exercise 6. Give two examples of birds for the beak type. So beak type they have mentioned here they have given the names of beaks here you have to write the examples of birds that have these beaks so first hooked beaks what type of birds or which birds have hooked beaks yes we can write owls eagles okay example one we can write owls then two we can write eagles these birds have hooked beaks then strainer which birds have strainer types of beaks yes ducks swans ducks d u c k s ducks swans s w a n s swans ducks and swans have strainer type of beaks next crackers what kind of birds or which birds have crackers type of beaks sparrows peacock yes sparrows s p a r r o w s sparrows then second peacock p e a c o c k peacock these two birds have crackers beaks next tweezer shaped tweezer shaped which birds have tweezer shaped beaks tweezer shaped beaks for which birds children hoopoes and warblers so first one hoopoes h o h o o p o e s hoopoes then warblers w a r b l e r s warblers Hoopoes and warblers have tweezer shaped beaks. So, owls, eagles have hook shaped beaks. Ducks, swans have strainer types of beaks. Sparrows, peacock have cracker, crackers beaks. Then, 
tweezer shaped beaks for hoopers and warblers children next is hearts this question think and answer so let's see what is there in hearts why do ducks have webbed feet we all know ducks have webbed feet but why it helps them to swim in the water isn't it yes webbed feet are uniquely designed uh, it is uniquely designed to help move ducks through the water which work as oars while swimming i told you that sample of oar in the boat row boat to row the boat we use a machine type or a stick type uh, a long pole with a broad end that is oar which helps the, it to move forward so same way ducks have webbed feet to move forward in the water to move or to swim in the water it is designed uniquely only for ducks it's uniquely designed for them so why do ducks have webbed feet webbed feet are uniquely designed to help move ducks through the water which works as oars while swimming duck swans these types of birds they have webbed feet isn't it yes value based question what is the value you learned by this lesson for your future okay a woodpecker works hard and makes holes in the tree trunk with its small beak that we all know woodpecker bird using its beak it makes hole in the tr tree trunk and it make nest and it take care of its young ones it use that beak to catch small insects also isn't it to eat what can you learn from the woodpecker can you learn any lesson from the woodpecker but let's see defining our goals comma defining our goals g o a l s goals to achieve something in the future we are children you all are learning studying now in the school huh? you have to study nicely you have to work hard then only you can become a, a good person in future if you want to become a teacher if you want to become a doctor if you want to become a pilot uh, if you want to become uh, anything uh, what you like for that you have to work hard isn't it you have to study nicely so defining our goals taking one step at a time at a time how woodpecker moves taking one step at a time uh, so at a time you do what you want to do okay so taking one step at a time then perseverance perseverance means to achieve a goal to achieve something to become success huh? working hard for that continually with great effort working for that if even if there is a failure even if there is an opposition any block anything whatever happens i will work hard that means perseverance okay continue to work to achieve that goal and patience you should have patience you have to wait and see wait for the success suddenly we will we won't get it we have to wait patiently for that so these are the lessons of values that you can learn from the woodpecker the way it makes its nest take care of young ones the the way it do it work how defining our goals taking one step at a time perseverance and patience these are the values that we can learn from a woodpecker so if you have these values children definitely you can become you can achieve your goal you can be success in your life you can be a successful person in your life okay yes next home assignment project prepare a chart with pictures and information about different types of nest and show it to your subject teacher you have to prepare a chart the chart should contain pictures of different kinds of nest you know birds different birds build different types of nest we learned about tailor bird woodpecker partridge crow sparrow etc building nest on birds on 
trees or on under the tree on the ground in the hall we learned isn't it so you just collect the pictures of those nest and you stick it on the chart or paste it on the chart and you have to give to your teacher the subject teacher the teacher who is taking evs to that teacher you have to give that chart with pictures of different kinds of nest so collect the pictures children and paste it on the chart and give to your teacher okay thank you